Hi there, Evan again, for Sunday, May 5th, 2019. Now, I'm sure you've all heard the news by now. The U.S. is increasing the tariffs on China to 25% on Friday. I'll get to it a little bit later in the video. The first story I wanted to cover about China, though, there was an article in South China Morning Post a couple of days ago talking about a video that was going viral around China, how someone was very upset in one of their banks, they couldn't make a $200 US withdrawal. Well, we find out soon afterwards, there was a new withdrawal limit put on US dollar withdrawals, where it was going down from $5,000 down to $3,000, meaning anything at or over that amount was going to be scrutinized, i.e. you'll need to show proof of need, etc., etc., etc. Now, of course, the two big restrictions China has on foreign withdrawals and foreign purchases is that one individual can't withdraw outside China more than 100,000 won annually, and one individual can't purchase outside China more than $50,000 U.S. a year. Now, making a move on U.S. dollar withdrawal limits, what's the first thing you can think of that leads to? A tightening of those capital controls, which I think is what it's leading to. And again, it'll be a further headwind on global real estate markets. Now, as far as the tariffs go, what do I think is going to happen with that? To counter it, China is going to devalue the yuan. And as far as why China walked away from the table, they're hoping to negotiate with a different president after the 2020 election. That's all this is. Although with all the problems in the Chinese economy, the credit bubble, etc. A lower yuan really was inevitable anyways. And the tariffs really for them push this forward. Now one counter argument you're going to make to this is that China holds a lot of U.S. treasuries. Now what do I think is going to happen there? After the next global recession and the um, U.S. dollar liquidity shortage, that will have happened globally, driving up the U.S. dollar. There's going to be a concerted effort globally to stop funding U.S. deficits and start selling U.S. treasuries, which will then lead to what the next round of QE from the U.S. Federal Reserve will be, which will be buying up U.S. bonds. Yep, you heard it first here. So want to keep it short and keep it sweet, more capital controls from China, one devaluation, and at the end of the next global recession, start selling U.S. treasuries, which the U.S. Federal Reserve will buy as their next round of QE. All I'm going to say, hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Have a good day, everybody.